Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. David Thrussell is here. Thruster, it's been a while. Pleasure as always. It's 2024 and it is April, so stick around and listen. All right, David, here we go. Uh, report for Tiger Mountain. There's a lot going on in the world, isn't there? At eh? An undisclosed location, mate. Uh, so the floor is yours. What's going on, mate? No. What do you want to talk about? Well, we've reached this interesting point, haven't we? You know, we've been through, let's just say, roughly three years of hell. Yes. Okay, I think it's fair to say that to the folks at home. Yep. Uh, It appears on some level that they've taken the shackles off a little bit, you know, (laughs) which is interesting, although in some other areas they appear to be marching further ahead, you know, um, with other diabolical schemes. Yep. But we're in this weird, um, I've compared it in the past, and I'll compare it again, to um, early 1940, what was called the Phony War. The Phony okay. War? The Phony War. So that's after the German invasion of Poland. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was a sort of a quiet period for like about eight months or so. Yeah, you know? yeah, uh, yeah. And well, people well, called it the Phony War. Yeah, yeah. Where <clears throat> you're at war. But no one was attacking each other. But it's, well, yeah, it's eerily silent. But yep. you know... People are getting something, ready. <laughs> something's about to, yeah. the dam's about to break. Oh, yeah, no, yes. I heard about the funny war. Yeah, no, yeah. I remember that because, uh, you know, they always say that, um, you know, in 1939, um, you know, uh, Hitler started the war, uh, Second World War by invading Poland. But I, I remember, I always brought up the people, hang on a minute, he declared war on who? Uh, and, and I remember well, doing England this in, in, in grade when I was like about eight. Yeah. And they said, well, actually, it was, it was England that declared war on I said, hang on a minute. Then, isn't that, you know, <laughs> anyway, we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> And Russia attacked Poland from the east, which nobody ever talks about. Correct. But let's not get into that. Let's not get into that either. <laughs> you know, it's the second so year. So many things we can't talk about. It's the second year anniversary of, um, um, you know, like the Ukraine war. So uh, that started two years ago, just when COVID was winding down, just when the, the restrictions began to be dropped and, uh, you know, they vaccinated. Let's a, have a, a war. They thought, yeah, <laughs> war time. So obviously they provoked Russia enough that uh, Russia uh, took the bait and away they went. And obviously uh, recently, um, you know, we've had uh, the, the troubles in, uh, it's more than trouble, let's be fucking honest, uh, that's been going on in Gaza sure. with our, our Zionist friends, uh, Jewish Zionist friends over in Israel uh, going uh, hell for leather, uh, hammer, and tongs. hammer and tongs, yes. wiping out Gaza, which they appear to want to obliterate the whole thing. So I'm still used to turn it into a car park. You know, basically... Well, um, probably more shopping malls and uh, nice beachfront property, right? Sure, yeah. And they um, want to put a, some kind of a pipeline through it, I heard. Look, know? there's all sorts of rumours, isn't yep. there? You know, yep. I mean, we're not in a position... I Krishna, know, Krishna's even come out, you know? Uh, I have heard this rumour. Krishna's come out and said there'll be a lovely pipeline going straight through there. You know? Yeah, yeah. So well, I think Trump might... You know, David is somebody who's a... He, he's a Trump doubter, ladies and gentlemen. I know uh, some of the sh- people <laughs> who watch this show are going to be shocked. But Trump, uh, Truster thinks maybe Trump is control opposition or uh, at least in on it to some extent. Yes and no. Yep. Okay, now I don't think, I think ultimately, and I did suspend judgment on this because, you know, I, I'm, you know, I don't know everything, okay? Um, news. <laughs> okay. Okay. news flash. <laughs> you, um, you know, there are all sorts of possibilities. The world is a weird and wonderful place, yes, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Um, but I, you know, as you know, I've reserved judgment about yeah. Trump in some ways. Yeah. You know, I, I, and I'll, I'll confess, I, I enjoyed. Um, he gave me a lot of laughs. You know, oh, sure, um, he's good fun. There's no, and, no doubt about and, that. And uh, he had all the right enemies. Yeah, okay. they do seem to be extraordinarily Absolutely. upset, and soon they still seem to be doing everything they can. Yes, but I did in the back of my mind. I always had this nagging doubt: Is this just part of the theatre? You know, is this part of yep, yep. Ab- the wholesale it's dividing of society? You know how I seen, think it works. You know. Uh, and I do, I do have my questions about this whole sort of occult theatre game that appears to go on in my mind with this whole, let's be straight on, forward about it, this whole democracy thing. Yep. You know, I mean, the, this democracy thing, I think we, it's really way past time that we asked really, really deep questions about our supposed democracy. And you, you raise the situation in Gaza, which I think is absolutely diabolical, you know, and I, but I would make a point about that amongst the many points that you can make, is, you know, in the general population, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a real distaste for what's happening in Gaza. Yeah, there right? is. Yeah, across yeah. The people board. hate it. People don't, them right, you know? people don't like babies being murdered. No, the hospital being eyes. blown up. Okay. Aid workers being blown up. 
yes, and I think that's fair enough. Even the Labor Party were a bit upset recently, you know, and yeah. you know you've got to really piss them off. To, that's right. You know. But, but, so, you know, you've, you've detected, and I've detected that there's this broad dissatisfaction with yep. the Gaza situation across the general public, okay? Yep. And yet, in our supposed democracies, here in Australia, in the US, Europe, wherever, you know, this this general dislike of what's happening in Gaza translates into nothing. Crickets, essentially. Yep. There'll, there'll be a bit of mouthing of this and that. Yep. But, but nothing is done to actually stop the Nothing is done. Nothing you know, is done. Recently, okay? I've been posting And we've seen this in a lot of areas, actually. We've seen this yep. all over the thing. I this democracy project. Yep. We've, it's time, it's way yep. past time that we called it. It's a fraud. It's it is. a scam. It's a total scam. And this is why I'll link it back Possibly to the Trump thing, to this sort of occult theatre realm yep. where they've got all you've got these, you know. It seems to be that they wanted to Judy puppets. They wanted to really be di like divide America, and in a sense, Trump is perfect for that because he's so divisive a figure. Do you know what I mean? Like, he, yeah. like half of America seems to like really love him, and the other half seem to really hate him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. like, you know, he's in a sense, uh, and I don't know if he, he could even be used unwittingly. You know what I mean? Like, yes, he might just be thinking, "No, I'm doing the right thing here." And they're just like, oh, no, hang on, hang on a minute. He, so, he, he, he could well be, yep. and I, you know, I don't know, but he could well be just some, you know, narcissistic TV celebrity guy I'm who sure loves what he being in the limelight, yeah, yeah. loves the idea of being president, yep, yep. and then has a whole lot of handlers manipulating him and puppeteering him into si different situations. Well, that's the, the net thing. result of which yep. is this incredible divide that we now see in society, which is entirely manufactured by the media. Yep. And the media is, I mean, it's an occult operation, the media, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's, it's an absolute manipulation. It's a puppet show. The whole yep. thing yep. that they do constantly is about manipulating the public. Yeah. Now, there is an interesting theory. I, I've heard this theory about that. I mean, I, I don't myself particularly you know, buy that because it just seems like the hatred towards him is so intense that they seem to be doing everything outside of assassinating him. But then again, this is the reason why don't they see if they really hate him that much. How hard would it be? To have some it seemed pretty left easy wing. for them to get rid of JFK. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe know. they don't want to do that. I don't know. I mean, you don't know why they don't do these things. No, so. no. We're, we're hypothesizing, yeah. okay? But I, I have had for a long time, you know, this deep suspicion that this whole democracy thing is an absolute theatrical production. And the Zionist thing is thing. interesting. Yeah. It's also about... I, here you go. Here's another theory. It's about harvesting the energy of the population. Yeah. Think back to Barack Obama, okay? Yeah, yeah, and think back, because I remember this quite clearly. You see him he recently, he campaigned with, um, with, with Biden. Well, and it's know, like, he's clearly the guy running the thing. Yeah, oh, come on, yeah. you know. But, you know, I mean, think back to that, and I remember it well, think back to that stage where Barack Obama was elected. Yep. There was this deep hatred, and a lot of the population for George W. Bush, because yep. of Iraq yep. and various yeah, other yeah, things, sure. you know, which were despicable yep. things, you know, there's no doubt about it. Uh, and then this marketing campaign, this incredible yep. marketing campaign Came out you know, of, of, of uh, change you can believe in, for yep. example. That was one of the slogans. Yeah, nothing you changed. <laughs> well, think about that slogan. They're yeah. telling you right there, as yeah. part of their occult operation. Yeah, change you can believe in. Change that you can believe in. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to change. Is, yeah, <laughs> what is that exactly? But you'll believe it, Will. Yeah, yeah, change that you can believe in. I think a lot of... And hope and all these things. It was all marketed at people. Mm -hmm. And Oddly enough, it was under Obama that, like, you know, woke. got worse, didn't it? Woke, it got worse. Woke, you know, it was, like, it was like the left thought, well, here we go. We've yeah. got a black president, finally things are going to be good. But if anything, things got worse under Obama. And it's almost like that's when the left kind of went to into the identity politics. Into they, the woods. Yeah, they sort of felt, they yeah. went a bit nuts. Yeah. They sort of went a bit crazy, I think. And then they got into the woke and, you know, and then yeah. you know, all that stuff to do with economic equity and helping the local working class. I just went out the window. It's okay. like they just decided they could never affect it. So, on some level, you could construct a theory that this is all a sort of a cult theatre operation. Look at look at this. If you pull back, you can make the threads out in there mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. an incredibly deep sort of black magic manipulation of the public mind. You know, sure, you know sure. I mean, what I was, what I wanted to say about the Obama thing, and there's a lot you can say, obviously, but. Also, just as far as sort of the energetic harvesting of the people, you know, their hopes yeah, and no, aspirations. Yeah, that's true. People were so emotionally, you know, a segment of the population was so emotionally invested in this figure as a sort of new saviour. It's a bit like Donald Trump in reverse in a lot of ways, you know, that they invest all this energy and, and hopes and dreams and aspirations in this figure yep, that's yep. sort of harvested and used. And you see how they operate too. 
someone could can begin, you know what I mean? It, it, I think some of these politicians, I don't exactly know who, but some of them appear like they at least mean at least part of what they're sure. saying, and then along the way they're compromised. And we all know how they operate. They operate Epstein. through blackmail. Uh, they Epstein, or they yeah. operate through through bribery, or they operate through like with Trump with the Kushner, who's like the, uh, you know, he's like the, the nephew, Handler. you know, who set up the whole Abraham Accords and everything, and he's the guy, you know, pushing, you know, the, to Trump, you know, Israel can do what it likes in Gaza. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, it, it's extraordinary, um, you know, what's going I, on. I do but the far left at the moment is kind of, strangely enough, on the same page as the far right. You know what I mean? I've been leaving uh, comments on Clem Ford's page, Clementine Ford, and she's actually liked the odd one. You know what I mean? I can't believe it. You know what I mean? It's, it's interesting. But, like, it's like they still can't see, though, that Wait, the Zionists... Wait, by their own rules, why did they get, why did they get her cancelled? <laughs> by their rules? If you like This is what's interesting about Clementine finger. Ford and why I actually started looking at her page recently is because she got attacked by a group of Zionists. Um, it's called the Z600 leak, right? And it's impossible to find on the internet. I've tried to find it. Um, because she posted a link on her page. And that's when someone said, I'll go have a look at Clementine Ford's page because she's posted a link of seven, uh, 600 Zionists in media and in the arts who were attacking left-wing journalists who were pro-Palestinian. And I thought, well, this is incredible. So this is like basically who the cabal is, right? You know, and, and, I, and I tried to find it impossible. Every time, it was like, oh, someone's put it here, an hour later it was gone. It, I mean, and this is scrubbing from sites that, that are, you know, like, uh, you just, you know, no, no one can scrub things from these sites, but it was disappearing. You know what I mean? Extraordinary. So, I don't know, someone probably does have this list. I think Clementine Ford has the list. You know what I mean? But, like, um, I did see someone who had seen it, and they, they did a summary. And it was just, you know, obvious, the obvious suspects, you know. Um, you know, I mean, I won't name them. Because, you know, then the, the Labor government brought in this thing where they're going to, you know, like, um, bring in some law that you can't dox people like that. But this was this was a private group on, like, um, you know, Telegram or something. It was a group of Zionists who were just coordinating attacks upon... And this is... What's interesting is this is left-wing, left-wing ABC presenters who are pro-Palestinian. So, you know, you know this, and the left obviously got upset about this, at least some people on the left, because there's obviously another aspect of the left that does whatever the Zionists uh, say, which is uh, anti Albanese and Penny Wong. So, so what you're seeing there is the policing of the open windows. You know, Absolutely. Like, yep. That's it? That's what you're allowed to say? Yep. That's what you're allowed to think? Oh, yep. you've stepped outside, yep. right? Boom. Bang. Bang, off you go. Bang, it's just whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole. Okay, you're, out, you're outside the open window, yep. whack. You know? No, yep. I, and I thought it was interesting the way, you know, that... It almost brought two sides of politics together. Obviously, I, I mean, I don't know who, who could support bombing hospitals, killing women and children, bombing aid um, workers, and bombing... You know, what they were doing is they were saying, oh, there's going to be aid over here at this uh, lovely, uh, you know, mushroom. And then whenever in a thousand people gave it, they're bombing. I mean, that, I mean, what country in the world could get away with that? I can only think of one. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. State of Israel, mate. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, maybe that's part one, because we'll be able to check the thing, you know? And then obviously when this goes to here, we'll be off uh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>